Take your seats. All the honorable members, take your seats. Honorable members. I have a message from the president <laughs> on the nomination of Professor Kithure Kindiki, <laughs> EGH, to fill the vacancy in the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Order, order members. Honorable members, pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 42-1, I wish to report to the House that today morning I have received a message from His Excellency the President regarding the nomination of Professor Kithure Kindiki EGH to fill the vacancy which has occurred in the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya following the impeachment of the previous office holder. Honorable members, as you are aware, Article 149.1 of the Constitution provides as follows, and I quote, within 14 days after vacancy in the office of the Deputy President arises, the President shall nominate a person to fill the vacancy and the National Assembly shall vote on the nomination within 60 days after receiving it. Honorable members, as you are aware, for a person to hold the office of Deputy President, the person must meet the requirements specified in Article 148, as read together with Article 137 of the Constitution. In the message, His Excellency the President indicates that as a prerequisite to the nomination, he sought and received confirmation from the I Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IABC, that the candidate is qualified to, re to view, sorry, to vie for election as a member of parliament in accordance with Article 137, 1 of the Constitution. Further, His Excellency the President confirms that he has sought and received clearances from the following institutions with respect to the candidate. One, the Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA. B, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC, C, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, D, the Higher Education Loans Board, HELP, and E, the Commission for University Education. Honorable members, in a testament to the foregoing, His Excellency the President has annexed the following documents in relation to his nominee. A, certified true copy of his certificate of birth. B, certified true copy of his national identity card. C, certified copies of his university degrees and other academic certificates. D, certification of foreign university degrees by the Commission for University Education. E, passport size photograph. F, Curriculum vitae and testimonials. G, confirmation of compliance with Article 137 of the Constitution from the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IABC. H, confirmation of citizen status by the National Registration Bureau, Office of the Registrar of Persons. I, confirmation of membership status in a political party from the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties, or RPP. J, policy party membership confirmation from the United Democratic Alliance, UDA. K, chapter six of the Constitution, statutory clearances on leadership and integrity from one, tax compliance certificate, Kenya Revenue Authority. Two, ethics and anti-corruption commission. Three, certificate of good conduct from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI. Four, Compliance Higher Education Loans Board, and five, Credit Report and Certificate of Clearance from the Credit Reference Bureau. In view of the foregoing honorable members and having perused the attached 
the attached documents, I am satisfied that the candidate meets the requirements under Article 148 as read together with Article 137 of the Constitution to fill the vacancy in the office of the Deputy President. Consequently, the nomination is properly before the House for purposes of the decision required under Article 149.1 of the Constitution. Honorable Members, Article 149.1 of the Constitution suggests that upon receipts, states that upon receipt of a nomination of a person to fill a vacancy in the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the House is required to vote on the nomination. Considering that the House is scheduled to proceed on recess at the rise of the House this afternoon, I'll convene a meeting of the House Business Committee immediately hereafter to deliberate on the next steps to be taken by the House. Thereafter, I will guide the House on the decision of the House Business Committee, and the House is accordingly guided. I thank you. Yeah, because now you are properly seized. <laughs> thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, Article 149 of the Constitution provides that within 14 days after a vacancy in the office of the Deputy President arises, the President shall nominate a person to fill the vacancy, and the National Assembly shall vote on the nomination within 60 days after receiving it. Honorable Speaker, recently in passing the special motion for impeachment, of the deputy president. Order, Angela, he is on a point of order. So, Honorable Speaker. Yeah, listen. Order, order. Wangela, what is it? Order, Honorable Shinali. Order, Honorable Shinali, will you be upstanding? You are not properly dressed. You go and dress in a proper manner and come back. Who else? Honorable Zahir. You are no him is a Muslim, is wearing a Friday prayer meeting, there's no problem. Shinali, go and dress up. Go on because. Honorable Speaker, recently in passing the special motion for impeachment of the Deputy President, you guided us that we required 